Throughout the vast history of exploration, humans have ventured into unknown areas in the name of discovery. It is in these far-off and isolated places that explorers, scientists, and adventurers frequently come across puzzling events that are difficult to explain. Today, we embark on a journey to unravel some of the most incredible revelations found in the middle of nowhere. From ancient relics lost to time to mind-blowing scientific anomalies, these discoveries not only push the boundaries of our understanding, but also unveil the innate curiosity and resilience of the human spirit. Join us on a journey to unravel the 20 most incredible discoveries made in the middle of nowhere. Number 20. The 1,900-year-old swords. In a cave near the Dead Sea, a stunning discovery emerged. Four swords, aged 1,900 years, remarkably well-preserved despite the passing centuries. The sword's pristine condition, given their age, is nothing short of astonishing. This remarkable preservation owes much to the region's dry, stable climate, which acted as a guardian protecting these ancient relics and granting us a precious glimpse into history. These swords hail from a turbulent era, a time marked by the Jewish revolts against the mighty Roman Empire. Their presence within a remote cave sparks intrigue, suggesting various scenarios. Could they have been concealed by rebels seeking refuge? Were they part of a cache intended for a future battle? The answers to these mysteries lie in the depths of history, awaiting revelations through further research and exploration. The significance of these swords extends beyond their mere existence. They offer tantalizing clues to a bygone time, providing a tangible link to the struggles and conflicts of ancient civilizations. Their discovery fuels curiosity, inviting historians and archaeologists to unravel the secrets they hold, potentially shedding light on untold stories of valor, strife, and survival amidst the tumultuous chapters of history. Number 19. The Demise of Sahara's Centuries-Old Survivor Imagine finding yourself amidst the vast expanse of the Sahara, a landscape stretching endlessly with scorching heat enveloping every inch. After what feels like hours of traversing the seemingly infinite sands, you stumble upon a lone tree standing resiliently in the heart of the desert. This was the Tenere tree, a solitary acacia that had endured the harsh desert conditions for over three centuries. The history of the Tenere tree is captivating. It was believed to have stood for hundreds of years, its roots delving nearly 120 feet underground to access hidden water reservoirs. This remarkable adaptation was the key to its survival in such an unforgiving environment. Regrettably, as magical and fascinating as encountering this tree might have been, it no longer graces the desert. Once a revered site, it became a destination for many in the Sahara until 1973, when an untimely incident led to its downfall. A tragic mistake occurred when a truck driver accidentally struck and knocked down this solitary tree. It's difficult to comprehend how, in such a vast and empty expanse, the lone tree could meet such a fate. But sadly, it did. The remnants of the tree were reverently relocated to the Niger National Museum in Niamey. It's undeniably heartbreaking that a living being, hundreds of years old, met its end due to a single man's drunken mistake. Number 18. North Korean Ghost Ships Living along Japan's coastlines often involves encounters with drifting boats, a common occurrence. However, there's a specific type that raises alarm, ghost ships from North Korea. Despite being recognized as a powerful nation, these vessels found devoid of living crews evoke both curiosity and concern among those who chance upon them. These weird boats frequently discovered carrying personal effects, fishing gear, or, more distressingly, the remains of North Korean fishermen, ignite speculation and worry. Many believe these ships belong to fishermen pushed to extreme limits by the regime's demands for larger catches amid food shortages. To meet these demands, these fishermen venture farther into the sea, risking peril in less than seaworthy vessels. Tragically, the combination of rough seas, inadequate boats, and insufficient training often leads to calamity. When faced with unfavorable currents and winds, these vessels drift uncontrollably, ending up adrift across the Sea of Japan. The vast expanse and treacherous journey mean not everyone survives, resulting in grim discoveries along the Japanese coast. The plight of these fishermen highlights the desperation and risks they endure, striving to fulfill their country's demands. Number 17. 500-year-old shipwrecked with gold. 
In the expansive Namibian desert, a place typically associated with vast dunes and desert-adapted wildlife, an extraordinary sight defies expectations. The remains of a 500-year-old shipwreck. Encountering the remnants of a ship in the heart of a desert is undoubtedly one of the most surprising discoveries imaginable. Picture stumbling upon a shipwreck, not nestled in the ocean's depths, but nestled amidst the scorching desert sands. This specific shipwreck, dubbed the Bomb Jesus or Good Jesus, harks back to the 16th century. It was a Portuguese vessel that embarked on its voyage in 1533, laden with a trove of treasures including gold coins, ivory, and other valuable goods. The ship, bound for India, tragically never Ever reached its intended destination. The question arises, how did a ship destined for India end up stranded in the Namibian desert? The prevailing theory suggests that the bomb Jesus encountered tumultuous waters and adverse conditions, leading to its sinking near the present-day Namibian coast. Over time, as the coastline shifted and the desert sands moved, the shipwreck was gradually buried, inching further inland. Notably, it wasn't until 2008 that miners, while prospecting for diamonds in the area, stumbled upon the preserved remnants of the ship. What makes this discovery even more remarkable is the remarkable preservation of the artifacts. Due to the absence of oxygen beneath the sands, many items, including the ship's wooden components, were astonishingly well preserved. Number 16. Hand in the Sand In Chile's expansive Atacama Desert, where rain hardly ever visits, sits a surprising sight that might make you rub your eyes in disbelief. Imagine a colossal hand, 36 feet tall, emerging boldly from the golden sand. This hand isn't an ancient artifact or a trick of nature. It's a breathtaking piece of modern art named La Mano del Desierto, or the Hand of the Desert. Crafted in 1992 by Mario Irarazabal, a skilled Chilean sculptor, this masterpiece isn't just an impressive structure. It's a message. The hand, with its fingers stretching skyward, sparks a flurry of emotions in those who encounter it amidst the barren desert. Some see it as a beacon of hope, a symbol of someone reaching out for aid in a desolate place. Others interpret it as a test testament to humanity's existence against the overwhelming vastness of nature. The sculpture isn't merely a static figure, it's a reflection of human vulnerability and the immense scale of the natural world. Positioned in this arid expanse, it serves as a reminder of our place in the grand scheme of things, a marker of human presence amid nature's relentless vastness. Travelers passing through don't just glance, they pause, captivated by the hand's eloquent expression, pondering its deeper meaning within the untouched desert landscape. Number 15. The Stealthy Sister of Infamous Area 51. Are you familiar with Area 51? It's widely recognized as one of the most infamous secret locations in the United States, generating numerous conspiracy theories, featuring in science fiction movies, and even inspiring a well-known Facebook event to storm the area. However, there exists another discreet and intriguing off-grid facility that receives lesser attention, but is equally compelling, Area 6. Situated in Yucca Flat within the Nevada National Security Site, Area 6 appears inconspicuous from an aerial perspective. Unlike the enigmatic shroud surrounding Area 51, Area 6 does not seem to possess the same level of secrecy. While Area 51 is predominantly managed by the U.S. Air Force, Area 6 falls under the oversight of the Department of Energy. Official records indicate that the primary function of Area 6 is to support the development and testing of equipment for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security's operations. This involves the testing of sensors on drones and technology capable of detecting radioactive materials, which could be used in potential threats, such as dirty bombs or other malicious applications. The presence of a 5,000-foot runway is dedicated to the testing and operation of drones allowing these unmanned aerial vehicles to conduct various maneuvers and scenarios. While the main purpose of Area 6 is known, similar to Area 51, it remains relatively obscure and under the radar. One can hope that this facility avoids any unexpected incursions by social media-driven enthusiasts in the future. Number 14. The Gravity-Defying Goats Goats do have that knack for appearing both comical and endearing, often wandering about seemingly unaware of their surroundings. But there's more to these adorable creatures than meets the eye. Some of them possess an extraordinary talent for climbing trees, particularly in southwest Morocco. It's quite a sight to behold as these goats effortlessly ascend trees, reaching heights of up to 30 feet and delicately balancing on slender branches that seem too fragile to support their weight. This surprising behavior isn't just for show, it's a survival 
survival tactic. In areas where food is scarce, these goats are drawn to the delectable fruit of the argan trees. Observing these acrobatic feats challenges our understanding of the natural world, almost defying the laws of physics. Yet it's a simple adaptation driven by the quest for sustenance. Much like these goats, humans also exhibit remarkable effort and skill when pursuing their passions or driven by preferences. Number 13. The 2,500-year-old Pyrrhic Carpet's Legacy In the realm of ancient relics, our minds often conjure images of pottery, tools, or jewelry. However, in the 1940s, researchers stumbled upon an unexpected marvel, the Pyrrhic Carpet, touted as the world's oldest. This exquisite find was unearthed in the Alai Mountains of Siberia, nestled within the frozen tombs of the Pazirik Valley. Dating back to the 5th century BC, this carpet, now over 2,500 years old, owes its remarkable preservation to the icy grip of its burial site. Alongside various artifacts, it has endured remarkably well, retaining its vivid allure across millennia. Spanning approximately 6 by 6.5 feet, the Pyrrhic carpet dazzles with a vibrant array of colors and intricate designs, a testament to the advanced textile techniques of its ancient creators. What makes this carpet truly exceptional isn't just its age, but also its craftsmanship. Its elaborate motifs feature geometric patterns, riders on horseback, and scenes of animals engaged in combat. These depictions provide a captivating glimpse into the culture, beliefs, and daily life of the enigmatic Paziric people. Number 12. The Mysterious Giant Snake of the Congo Colonel Van Leer's reported encounter with an enormous snake in the Congo during a 1950s helicopter mission has become the stuff of legend. Describing the serpent as roughly 50 feet long with a distinct triangular jaw, his account piqued immense curiosity. What set this apart from a passing glimpse was Van Leer's decision to circle back and capture the colossal creature on film. In a realm where even the largest known snakes, like anacondas or pythons, cap at around 30 feet, an additional 20 feet would indeed mark an extraordinary find. If Van Leer's claims hold, this Congo giant would surpass any documented snake in history. However, despite the photographs taken by Van Leer, the precise measurements and authenticity of the images remain subjects of debate. Skeptics question the accuracy of the reported size, hinting at the possibility of misjudgment or exaggeration. This tale leaves us pondering, is there truly a behemoth serpent lurking within the wilds of the Republic of Congo, captured in Van Leer's photographs? Or could it be a case of mistaken perception? For the sake of peace of mind, many hope for the latter, while others remain intrigued by the possibility of a colossal creature yet to be fully understood in the depths of the Congo's wilderness. Number 11. Lincoln's Whimsical Equine Gathering If you've meandered through the serene landscapes of Lincoln, Massachusetts, you might have chanced upon a scene that seems plucked from a bee-inspired horror flick. Picture this, a peculiar pony congregation, an odd circle formed by aged horse figurines standing inwards like a makeshift altar. This eccentric assembly goes by the name Ponyhenge. Despite its initially weird appearance, the story behind it is anything but sinister. The tale begins innocently enough, with a pair of abandoned rocking horses left on a piece of land. Over time, this plot transformed into a whimsical haven as more and more toy horses joined the peculiar party. Anonymous contributors sprinkled their equine additions, turning it into a dynamic display. The arrangement evolved, sometimes forming a circular gathering, at other times standing in rows and occasionally depicting a playful race. Far from a haunting mystery, Ponyhenge is a delightful and harmless inside joke, showcasing the charm that can emerge from the unlikeliest corners of rural landscapes. Number 10. The Enigmatic Train Cemetery of Bolivia In the heart of Bolivia's desert near Uyuni lies an unexpected sight a train cemetery. Amidst the arid expanse, you'll encounter the weathered relics of locomotives and rail cars dating back to the early 1900s. The mystery lingers. Why here, amid this barren landscape? Uyuni was once a vibrant railway hub, a crucial link between Bolivia's mines and the Pacific ports. These trains were lifelines, transporting valuable minerals, especially during the mining boom of the 1920s and 1930s. However, as mines dried up and newer transportation methods emerged, the importance of these rail routes dwindled. 
By the mid-20th century, many trains were decommissioned, left to face the elements rather than being dismantled. Exposed to the unforgiving desert winds and relentless sun, these locomotives have transformed. The salt-laden breeze and relentless desert rays have corroded the metal, rendering the trains with a haunting, skeletal appearance. Today, this weird train graveyard attracts photographers and occasional travelers fascinated by dark tourism, drawn to the beauty of decay amidst the vast desert expanse, where history rusts away in a poignant testament to a bygone era of transportation and industry. Number 9. A Diamond in the Desert's Dust Coleman's Cop is a spectral town nestled close to the modest township of Luderitz. Back at the turn of the 20th century, no one would have foreseen the desolation that awaited this place. Once upon a time, it was a thriving hub, brimming with wealth. The secret? Diamonds. In 1908, a discovery of this precious gem sparked a frenzy, drawing crowds in search of their fortunes to Coleman's Cop. During its zenith, this town flourished, boasting luxuries quite extraordinary for its time and setting. A hospital, a ballroom, a power station, and even the first X-ray facility in the Southern Hemisphere. Yet, as fate often dictates in towns reliant on finite resources, its destiny was tied to the diamonds. By the 1930s, the diamond deposits dwindled, and richer ones were found farther south. The town's pulse slowed, and its population dwindled. By the 1950s, Coleman's cop lay abandoned, surrendered to the desert's embrace. Today, the wind-blown sands invade the interiors of once opulent homes, swallowing their grandeur, yet curious souls still wander by, capturing glimpses of the town's faded grandeur in photographs. Time marches on, and eventually Coleman's cop, once teeming with life, will succumb to the relentless passage of time. Buried under the shifting sands, a fleeting memory preserved only in images and stories. Number 8. Unveiling the Mystery of the Mojave Phone Booth It's not a common occurrence to stumble upon a phone booth in the middle of nowhere, is it? Who even uses it? And why was it installed in a place that barely receives a hundred visitors annually? This curiosity made the Mojave Phone Booth, as it came to be known, a captivating anomaly in the desert. But what exactly was it? Spoiler alert! It was initially set up in the 1960s to cater to the needs of local volcanic cinder miners and other residents in that remote region. For most, the existence of this booth remained unknown until the 1990s, when a man named Godfrey Daniels found its listing in a phone book and decided to visit it. He shared his experiences online, triggering widespread interest. The booth's remote location, coupled with its discovery during the internet era, sparked various speculations and piqued curiosity. People pondered if it was a clandestine government communication line, a leftover prop from a film set, or perhaps an art installation. However, the truth might not be as thrilling as one would hope. The booth had a rather mundane origin, serving as a vital communication tool in an area devoid of other means. Nevertheless, its rediscovery led to a kind of cult following. Adventurous individuals embarked on pilgrimages to the booth, answering its sporadic rings or simply making a call from one of the most isolated phone booths on the planet. Unfortunately, the newfound popularity of the booth led to its downfall. Concerns regarding environmental impact due to increased traffic in the area prompted its removal in 2000 by the National Park Service. Number 7. Neolithic Shrine In the remote and rugged expanse of Jordan's eastern desert, archaeologists stumbled upon a Neolithic site that provides a fascinating glimpse into spiritual practices dating back approximately 7,000 years. This discovery is crucial, offering insights into the spiritual and communal lives of societies transitioning from hunter-gatherer ways to settled agricultural communities. At the heart of this find stands a shrine composed of towering standing stones, some etched with intricate depictions of humans and animals. The presence of these stones in such an arid landscape intrigues and puzzles. Who were the individuals behind their erection, and what significance did they hold? While the shrine's exact purpose remains a subject of ongoing research, early hypotheses propose it might have served as a communal gathering place, possibly for religious ceremonies or astronomical observations. The meticulous arrangement of the stones and the detailed engravings hints at a society not solely focused on survival, but also engaged in activities that transcend mere sustenance. The enigmatic allure 
allure of this site lies in unraveling the mysteries of a civilization whose legacy has endured through these weathered stones. It offers a window into the lives, beliefs, and cultural practices of ancient communities striving to understand their place in the cosmos, leaving behind enigmatic markers that beckon us to decipher their stories from the distant past. Number 6. Roy Bates' Offshore Kingdom Sealand, perched in the expansive North Sea, stands as a peculiar anomaly amidst the expected site of oil rigs and maritime traffic. Its genesis traces back to the 1960s when Roy Bates, a former British Army major, seized control of an abandoned World War II anti-aircraft platform named Ruff's Tower stationed in international waters off England's coast. In this offshore oil rig, Bates and his family made their home, and in 1975 he declared it the sovereign principality of Sealand, crowning himself as its prince. Initially, Bates encountered little opposition to his audacious claim, yet asserting Sealand's autonomy was no smooth sailing. Legal disputes, attempted takeovers, and even clashes with the British Navy peppered Sealand's history. Despite these challenges, the Bates family adeptly navigated legal gray areas, maintaining their hold on the platform. Sealand proudly brands itself as the world's smallest country, complete with living quarters. The Bates family went as far as issuing Sealand passports, stamps, and even minting their currency. However, despite these endeavors, Sealand lacks official recognition from any established sovereign state or international body. Reflecting on Bates's decision to proclaim Sealand a nation stirs diverse opinions. Some might view it as a bold venture, a whimsical pursuit of sovereignty in an unconventional setting. Others might see it as a daring, perhaps impulsive move. Whether a stroke of genius or a fleeting fantasy, Sealand continues to intrigue and challenge conventional notions of nationhood. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. This rancher just sent out a chilling message after making this discovery on his private ranch. Upon routine inspection, he came across numerous deceased wild boars strewn across the area. He found no apparent cause for their demise. These creatures seemed to have simply collapsed, devoid of any evident wounds or signs of harm. With experts and online communities delving into theories, some suggest a sinister disease might have afflicted the boars, while others ponder if the relentless desert heat and dehydration pushed them to their limits. But even with these ideas, a shadow of doubt looms over these explanations. The inexplicable nature of the situation confounds even the experts called to investigate. Despite thorough examinations, no definitive answers emerge. There's a lingering suspicion that something more ominous than disease or heat stroke might be at play. The absence of clues deepens the mystery, leaving an unsettling feeling that something sinister might have cast its shadow over the fate of these animals. Ranging from environmental toxins to clandestine experiments gone awry, yet, without concrete evidence, the truth remains elusive, shrouding this strange occurrence in an unsettling mystery. The rancher's distressing discovery continues to baffle, inviting speculation and stirring imaginations as people grapple with the chilling puzzle of the inexplicable mass deaths. Let us know what you think in the comments. Number 5. The Slab City For many, the concept of a locale entirely detached from mainstream society, absent the complexities of typical governance, might evoke thoughts of a dystopian narrative. Yet. Tucked away in the Californian desert near the Salton Sea lies Slab City, an enclave often heralded as the last bastion of freedom in the United States. For those encountering it for the first time, Slab City presents an unexpected sight, an expansive terrain adorned with trailers, RVs, art installations, and makeshift homes, all resting upon a foundation of concrete slabs. Here, basic amenities such as electricity, sewage systems, and running water are absent. Residents rely on solar panels, generators, and their ingenuity to meet their needs. The genesis of this unconventional settlement traces back to the grounds of Camp Dunlap, a World War II Marine Corps training base established in the 1940s. Following its decommissioning in the mid-1950s, the dismantling of military structures left behind only the concrete slabs that once supported the base buildings. These very slabs would later lend Slab City its moniker. After the base was abandoned, retirees, known as Snowbirds, began utilizing the area as a free winter campsite. Over time, its reputation as a liberated space grew, attracting a broader spectrum of visitors. By the 1980s and 1990s, this unconventional haven had evolved into the free-spirited paradise recognized today. Number 4. The Perplexing Tale of Middle Eastern Geoglyphs 
scattered across the vast, dry expanses of the Middle East, particularly in Jordan, Syria, and Saudi Arabia, peculiar circular formations dot the desolate landscapes. These enigmatic geoglyphs, often referred to as desert kites or simply big circles, present an enigmatic puzzle to archaeologists and historians alike. Crafted from local stones and spanning astonishing diameters exceeding 1,300 feet, these ancient patterns exist in remote areas, seemingly purposeless amidst the barren terrain. What captivates the curious minds is their visibility solely from an aerial perspective, raising baffling questions about their original intent. Their age, purpose, and origins have sparked ongoing debates and speculation. Some ponder if these colossal circles held ritualistic or celestial significance, while others propose practical functions like serving as animal corrals or aids for agriculture or pastoral activities. Some even speculate these formations might have ties to burial sites or act as markers of territorial boundaries. The mystery deepens as theories abound, each hinting at a different purpose or significance. However, with no definitive answers emerging, these desert kites continue to mystify, evading clear explanations and inviting endless fascination as they persist as cryptic remnants of ancient cultures lost in time. The enigma surrounding their existence remains an unsolved riddle, challenging the depths of historical understanding. Number 3. Ship Found on a Farm Amid the calm and beautiful landscapes of southern Norway, close to the charming city of Halden, archaeologists made an amazing discovery that got their hearts racing. Using their sharp eyes and a special radar that could see beneath the ground, they uncovered something truly extraordinary buried under the earth. A huge structure, measuring 17 meters long, crafted to look like an impressive ship. As they dug deeper into this incredible find, a surprising truth emerged. This magnificent vessel, which looked both grand and timeless, had been lying under the fertile soil of a Norwegian farmer for more than a thousand years. It wasn't just any ship. It was a relic from a time long ago, back when the adventurous Vikings sailed these lands. The Norwegian Institute for Cultural Heritage Research, given the responsibility of uncovering this mysterious tale from the past, shared its discoveries with the whole world. Astoundingly, this ship turned out to be the resting place of a Viking warrior who was wealthy and influential. But here's where the mystery thickens. It's still unclear whether the remains of the ancient mariner or any artifacts accompany him on this eternal journey. Now, a whole new chapter in history is ready to unfold. The scientists are prepared with shovels and brushes, all set to disturb the slumber of the ship as they start the incredible journey of excavation. This effort holds the promise of revealing the buried aspects of Viking burial rituals, shining a light on traditions and customs that were previously unknown. Number 2. The Mary Man Mystery Flying over Australia's expansive terrains, you might spot a colossal figure etched into the earth, a sight that might initially evoke thoughts of ancient geoglyphs akin to the Nazca lines in Peru. However, what you'll witness is the awe-inspiring Mari Man. Situated near Mari in South Australia, this modern geoglyph stands at an impressive height of 1.7 miles, with a perimeter spanning 17 miles. It portrays an indigenous Australian man holding a boomerang, its intricate details visible even from space. The Mari Man's revelation came through Trek Smith, a pilot flying between Mari and Cooper Petty on June 26, 1998. Since its discovery, speculation has swirled regarding its origins. While resembling ancient geoglyphs, many attribute its creation to Barius Goldberg, an artist from the Northern Territory who resided in Alice Springs. However, before his passing in 2002, Goldberg neither confirmed nor denied being the mastermind behind the Mari Man. Number 1. Cryptic Chronicles In the vast Mojave Desert, nestled along the historic Mojave Road, stands the Traveler's Monument, a testament to a unique tradition shrouded in modern lore. At first glance, it appears as a mere heap of rocks, yet it's the ritual surrounding it that gives it its allure. Here's the drill. Encounter the monument while journeying the Mojave Road, and you add a rock to the pile. Sounds simple, right? But this act of communal contribution has transformed the monument over time, symbolizing the collective odyssey of countless travelers across this rugged terrain. 
Now, about that enigmatic plaque. Those who venture and add their stone are encouraged to read the message on it. But there's an unspoken pact among travelers to guard its message, sharing it only with fellow journeyers. The online world keeps the mystery intact, with no definitive answers about its content. You might stumble upon claims of no photo rules online, meant to safeguard this elusive message. Despite the secrecy, many insist that making the trek to this monument is worth it. But would you embark on the journey solely to uncover the hidden message? It's a question that adds to the allure of this cryptic roadside landmark, inviting adventurers to ponder the intrigue and mystery of the Mojave. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.